Today we're going to speak about computer storage, in this case secondary storage. When a computer central processing unit or CPU processes bits of information, that information is held temporarily in the main memory. This is volatile, which means that that information is lost once the power of the computer is turned off. A lot of information will be required to be kept permanently and for this a different sort of storage known as secondary or backing storage is required. Today we're going to talk about the different forms of secondary storage. Magnetic storage devices. We'll be talking about what is it, devices that use it and advantages and disadvantages. Firstly, what is it? Magnetic storage is in the form of tiny magnetised dots. These dots write, read and erase data using electromagnets. Example devices include hard drives, magnetic tapes, floppy disks, zip disks and jazz disks. Magnetic storage devices are significant but a number of the devices are extinct now, particularly floppy disks, zip disks and jazz disks, particularly because the successor CDs are much more reliable and have speedier data retrieval. The only other magnetic device that is used nowadays is the hard drive. And the reason why is this. They, are much bigger, they have much bigger storage than the modern SSD. They store and retrieve data much faster than all magnetic devices. They are cheaper to buy for two reasons. Particularly because they have more gigabytes, the value per gigabyte is more worth it. And secondly, because of SSD, the hard drives have automatically come down in price. They have a data, data transfer rate of 1,030 megabits per second, which is reasonably fast. In terms of drawbacks, there's two reasons. Regular head crashes that lead to damaged sectors. This results in loss of data. And secondly, because of the SSD new technology, eventually this technology will be wiped out, particularly when SSD becomes bigger capacity and is, becomes much cheaper. Overall, magnetic storage devices are a significant part of history. However, in time, the whole era of magnetic storage devices will be a distant memory as a flash technology will take over. Optical storage uses lasers and sensors to write and read information. They are available in three main types, CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays. Their main uses are that they are suitable for archival storage, backup and data distribution and exchange, and they are used to store music, films and software. Their main advantages are that they play and record onto a large number of different disc formats. For example, CD-ROM, CD-R, CD-Rewrite, DVD, DVD-RAM, DVD-R, DVD-plus-R. Blu-rays have a transfer, transfer rate of 4.5 megabytes per second, which is the trans fastest transfer rate. Optical discs have higher capacity than magnetic discs of similar cost. The disadvantages are that they have compatibility issues and that they can break and scratch easily. Solid state drive, also known as a solid state disk or electronic disk, although it contains no actual disk of any kind nor motors to drive the disk. It is a data storage device used in integrated circuit assemblies as memory to store data persistently. SSD technology uses electronic interfaces compatible with traditional block input or output hard disk drives. SSDs have no moving mechanical components which distinguish them from traditional electromechanical magnetic disks such as hard disk drives or floppy disks, which contain spinning disks and movable read or write heads. Compared with electromechanical disks, SSDs are typically less susceptible to physical shocks and more quietly have lower access time and less latency. However, while the price of SSDs has continued to decline in 2012, SSDs are still about 78 times more expensive per unit of storage than HDDs. SSD can be found in your smartphone.
the advantages of LSSD is that it is more durable it, and it has better computer performance, meaning it has faster read and write in speed. File fragmentation has little impact and it has faster boot. Also, permanent data delete, deletion produces less noise, consumes less power and generates little heat. The disadvantages are that it is expensive, has limited storage capacity, slower write speed on some models, it is relatively newer technology and it's unreliable for life, life expectancy and it also has an inability to recover lost data. As more and more data was moved onto the personal computer, so the need for the same data to be accessible from more than one computer at a time grew. In the days before PC networks shared data, data would be moved around on magnetic plastic disks. Unfortunately these disks were quite fragile and they weren't very reliable. And so a new method for storing data that could be moved around needed to be found. In 1996, a new standard for computer interfaces was invented known as the Universal Serial Bus. And this lent itself very nicely to small magnetic storage devices that could store up to 256 gigabytes of data that could be easily removed from one computer and plugged into another. The only real drawback with this sort of technology is that there is a limit to the number of times that data can be written and erased, although that probably equates to around about 10 years, and so it isn't necessarily going to be a problem for most of us. These devices are fairly inexpensive, they can be bought for as little as four or five pounds, and the rates at which data can be moved around are now fairly quick. Universal Serial Bus version 3 can now transfer data up to four gigabytes per second. A different sort of memory to the USB memory stick is the flash memory card. These are based on the same flash memory technology which is non-volatile storage and therefore stores permanently even while the power is turned off. However the difference is in the dimensions, the size and the way that they connect. USB cards have a USB standard adapter whereas flash cards have a range of different standards. The most common being presently the SD card known as the secure digital card. Because of the fact that these are designed to be slim, they are removable, however they are more flimsy than a USB memory stick which has been designed to be removed and replaced several times over. These have a transfer speed of around about 832 megabits per second and there are currently memory cards like this that are available up to 256 gigabytes although the standard SD will go as far as 2 terabytes. In terms of price, they're a similar price to a USB memory stick and the specifications are very, very similar. You'd use one of these devices in a device that's designed to be very small and not regularly removed. You'd use a USB memory card in a device where you need to remove it regularly and take it to another device and plug it in and use it there.